The next adventure for Batman begins in a special, Detective Comics number 38, with a cover date of April 1940. This is the first appearance of Robin, the Boy Wonder. Trapeze artist Dick Grayson gets done with his family trapeze act when he overhears some gangsters threatening the circus owner about protection money, so no accidents will happen. The owner declines to pay. The next night, Dick's parents go to perform their amazing triple twist, and the ropes break and they fall to their death in front of Dick and spectator Bruce Wayne. Later, Dick overhears the owner telling the gangsters he will pay so no one else will die. Dick wants to go to the cops, but he is stopped by someone. Batman approaches Dick and tells him he wants to help him get the people who killed his parents and how the whole city is under Boss Zuko, so going to the cops is a no-go. He tells Dick about the murder of his parents when he was a kid. Bruce and Dick make an oath that they will fight crime, and Bruce trains him. Enter Robin, the boy wonder. Months later, they make their move in the same small town that Dick was part of the circus in. Dick gets a job as a newsie, and some punks hold him up for a third of his weekly take. Bruce tells him to act scared and follow them. Dick does, and sees them go into a house. Boss Zuko orders the men to bleed every business dry, and they go to the first stop, but the guy doesn't have their money. They're about to take action when they're grabbed from behind by the Batman, who gives them a message for their boss. Next stop was the butcher shop. Just like the last stop, Batman is sending messages to Zuko. He makes his way to an illegal gambling house, and they're no match for the caped crusader. Batman makes sure to cause panic by dumping all of the money on the floor, and the gamblers make a grab and dash so Zuko loses even more money. He visits the last place where Zuko has slot machines set up and destroys them, telling the people to just say, Batman. Later at the hideout, Zuko goes crazy about the Batman, but a package arrives for him and a bat flies out. There's a note, too. Batman's warning note doesn't go over well with Zuko, and he sets off to the cannon building, but they have an unwelcome hitcher hiding on the back of the car. It's Robin, and he overhears their plans to blow up part of Cannon's building to extort money. Zuko is so mad, he is actually going with his men on this one. Thugs make their way up the elevator, and Robin takes out one of the thugs watching guard and makes his way up. Robin is spotted and the men start shooting and the boy wonder uses his slingshot and hits the thug right in the forehead, then leaps onto a rope and swings into the men, kicking one of the men off the steel girder to his death, which brings the boy wonder kill count up to one. Robin flips the man in the middle off the edge as two more approach and he slips but catches himself and flips over the girder kicking another one to his death, which brings the boy wonder kill count up to three. Trying to get back up, Robin is trapped, and Zuko has a gun trained on him. Just as Robin is about to get shot, Batman swings into action and saves Robin's life. He punches Zuko as the henchman Blade tries to make a getaway. Batman ropes him around the neck, dangling him from the girders above, somehow not killing him. Batman taunts him with a vial of acid to the rope in hopes of a confession. Blade agrees, and the bat pulls him up. Blade signs a confession, giving up Zuko. Zuko pushes Blade to his death and Robin takes a picture instead of saving his life. Batman tells Zuko they have all the evidence they need to put him away for a long time. The next day, Bruce asks Dick if he would like to rejoin the circus, but Dick says no and thinks he should stay with Bruce and fight crime together. <laughs>